had a placement in Canada for a year at a tech company and um, I was designing uh, smart light, smart home light switches and I think light installments and designs and stuff like that. I would say the good thing about it is that I think that was the only point apart from going to university that I did for myself, just going overboard by myself, nobody else. I mean, if you can stand being by yourself, because I like my own company, then go for it. There's nothing wrong with that. I made some good friends that I still talk to today. I still have clients that liked my work there that I'm, I'm pleasure to work with after I graduated, as well as I think just exploring around Canada and just, I mean, uh, there's times where I felt like, yeah, I could have done better in a way of my communication because I sometimes don't have good communication in terms of uh, speaking and stuff because um, my, well, in our placement, you had to get up and you have to present, but our mm. team is not very small. Our team is a team of like a hundred and that scares the crap out of me when I start speaking. But I guess if you are scared of that, do it because you're going to have to keep on coaching yourself in these environments. So I'd say that's good. The negative part is, I would say, do not rush things. I guess everyone wants this and everyone wants that in the long term, but you have to pace yourself because if you don't pace yourself and you, you're going on saying, I want this, I want this, I want this, even though you're not, even though you're thinking that way, you are acting it out as you do it. So I would say when you are going on a placement, fix your attitude, fix yourself and have confidence in yourself. Mm -hmm.